I call this my greenhouse, but actually just a shed with a bunch of windows in it. I moved my Venus flytraps out here. And just to see how they do, they are, it's really hot in here, but I can open all these windows. I have them in a little dish pan type tub. Inside, I do the same with my African violets. I have this plastic grating that goes on fluorescent lights. Underneath is three quarter inch PVC pipe that holds it up off the floor. And then I fill the tub up to the top of those pipe and underneath these pans I have wick water on them. I have little rope that wicks up the water to it. I have not put water in any of the plants since spring since I got these out of hibernation. They're doing really well this way. This little empty container what I do is I put these flowers right over top of that container and if it seeds maybe the seeds will sprout. So far they haven't. The first ones this spring didn't sprout any babies yet. Most everything has flowered. It's July 19th right now and I've got a bunch of them. There's two right there, two right here. Uh, there's another one just starting right here that's starting to flower. There's one right there in the center that's starting to flower. So letting them flower doesn't seem to bother them at all. They're doing really well. I have them out in a little shed that has quite a few windows. A couple windows on the north side, east side, and the south side with a couple little clear panels up on top. Anyway, this wick watering is doing really well. It keeps them moist. I don't know if you can see deep down in that one you can see some blue. That's that little rope I'm using that sucks up the water. Only one per pot. It's doing really well. The only thing I noticed when I bought some of these out of Walmart, they're really red color. I'm just get a faint little pinkish color which they might not be getting enough sunlight but these pans provide about 50-60% humidity during the day. I don't I have wire here for the early oh, early spring and then the fall I'll put a plastic garbage bag over it to hold the humidity in. Then I'll just I leave them out in my the garage. They go dormant and they've done really well coming back. So this is actually a pretty good idea if you've had a little trouble from raising these and keep them alive. I separated all these to about a single plant and this one I'm not too sure what where if it has seeds coming up out of it it's exploded. That one is also one in the back is a couple of these I put two to a little pot but after I separate them, they're just exploding with tons of little plants in them. I threw a whole bunch of these plants away when I repotted them. So whatever happening, it's working really well. These are pretty good, pretty good sized traps here. Get my finger up here. They're over an inch. Not really huge. But anyway, got some flowers coming up. I touch them, see if they'll pollinate. See what happens. Wick watering, it's working real well with for me. I'm going to add this little segment for my Venus fly traps. This is some of the fertilizer I am putting in the water. I get the water, the reverse osmosis water out of Walmart, and I'm putting about just a little bit, like an eighth of a teaspoon. It has a little cup on the inside and I just put just I just get it to where you can see the blue kind of a I put about that much. It's just a little bit, a little more. There we go. 
I put that much in it you can see right there I put that in a gallon of water and for the algae or the green moss water I started out putting two to three drops in each gallon for my African violets and my traps and it did not stop the algae or the moss or the green water so now I'm up to ten drops of this and it seems to be doing better hasn't seemed to even harm the plants so my my traps are getting a little bit of fertilizer also plus I do catch a few bugs and help them out and it's been catching a few bugs on their own so anyway so so far this hasn't hurt my plants at all it hasn't shown any signs that it is hurting it 